in this short message, I would like to present to you about uh, flood control structures and uh, flood defense strategies. We've got a number of uh, leading professionals in this area, Matthijs van Ledden for flood hazards, uh, Fola Ogonjoye for flood resilience, and De Kevlam for coastal development. And my name is uh, Michel Tonijk for flood control structures. To start with, uh, dealing with uh, flood defenses is based in, in, in the Dutch technologies of uh, flood defense engineering. Uh, worldwide, this is uh, technical excellence and uh, we have a good group that is able to apply, to apply this. We look very much into uh, the hydraulic boundary conditions, the water levels, the wave heights, and there is a very strong link uh, to technical engineering as well. In the Netherlands, uh, flood defense projects are subject to environmental impact assessment uh, since about 20 years. About five to 10 years later, we added room for the river project to this. This allowed us to uh, build up great experience in fitting a flood defense into its environment. Uh, based on our uh, technical experience as well, uh, we find ourselves very comfortable in applying this uh, uh, just in the Netherlands, but uh, also in other countries where the circumstances are often different, but the basic principles can be applied very well. A wider component in our job of uh, flood control structures is flood defense strategies. In fact, applying flood defenses for a larger area is a very great challenge. Based on the integrated approach uh, we have uh, applied in the Netherlands, in fact, the superlative of environmental impact assessment and social impact assessment is defining a flood defense strategy for a larger area, like a complete delta. And that's uh, making a vision, and it's making a strategy, and that's what we've just, just done in, in Vietnam for the Mekong Delta. As, as a student, I always dreamt of doing this, because in the list of the 10 biggest rivers in the world, the Mekong Delta was one of them, and having become a team leader for uh, the Mekong Delta is, is an honor and a big challenge. Many disciplines are involved and uh, Royal House Koning DHV has led a consortium uh, with other partners to uh, take up the challenge for the Mekong Delta. We need to know about rice cultivation, we need to know about shrimp farming, tilapia, uh, farmers associations and of course flood defence structures. But most important, it's not flood defence, it's using floods, it's using the salinization of the country and that, makes, uh, that creates the challenge of uh, an economic development for the Delta. After two years, we have finished the Mekong Delta plan, which I can show to you now. And uh, I'm proud that uh, our Minister Schultz of Infrastructure and Environment will present this to the Prime Minister of Vietnam uh, by the end of 2013. From that on, we will start new projects in the future. I invite you to take advantage of our experiences in Dutch flood defense that we spread over the world and our experiences in flood defense strategies uh, that we build in Vietnam, in Myanmar, in China, wherever we go. Thank you.